What are you expecting from this new trailer? Uh, new gameplay, new Pokemon, new Mega Evolutions? Some of these things are more likely than others, but to find out what is most likely to be announced next, we should take a look at the first few trailers for 2022's Pokemon Legends Arceus. Its first trailer was actually pretty crazy, and it dropped almost a year before the game's release. Right now, we're about a year away from the release of Legends ZA, so it seems fitting that they'd announce the same things, right? The first trailer opens by establishing the setting of the game. It sets up the fact that you're playing in Sinnoh a long, long time ago, and Pokemon roam as they please. This is fairly reminiscent of the uh, first Legend ZA trailer. It showed us the setting. It didn't tell us when we're playing though. It just tells us we're in Lumio City and we're rebuilding. The real meat of the trailer uh, comes from when it shows the core elements of gameplay. It shows the open world. It shows you catching Pokemon, and then it shows you the game's starter Pokemon. Pokemon. Of course, Oshawott, Rowlet, and Cyndaquil. If this is what we see for Legends ZA, we could finally get our first look at how the game plays. There are so many people confused as, as to, you know, you know how the Pokemon are going to appear, how the battling is going to work, how the game is going to play in its entirety. This trailer could clear it up entirely. And on top of that, like I said, it could reveal the first starter Pokemon we get. For their final stages though, we probably won't see them for a while. I'll go more into depth with this later, but for now, you shouldn't really expect to see them anytime soon. The trailer continues to establish the main goal of the game, creating Sinnoh's first Pokédex. Of course, we do know the main goal of Pokémon Legends ZA. We're trying to rebuild Lumio City and effectively rebuild the relationships between people and Pokémon. But it would be nice to see this um, rehashed, I suppose, in a, in a new light, in a much deeper detail. Because that, that could mean like a, a hundred things, you know? I mean, b b rebuilding the relationship between people and po Pokemon, what does that mean? Are we trying to make people trust Pokemon? Are we trying to make Pokemon trust people? Are we doing both? I don't know, I don't know. But hopefully this new trailer will clear all of that up. And the trailer closes with a very vague release date saying it releases in early 2022. Now, this is very similar to what we got with Legends ZA. It's releasing sometime in 2025. So if the first trailer is going to be the exact same beat for beat, we still might not have a release date for Legends ZA. But like, don't get too panicked. Don't click off. There's still more trailers I want to go through. And this is where the, the real good stuff starts popping up. And okay, not to brag, but I'm kind of a really good Pokemon collector. If you want to see me react to this trailer, I will be live streaming it. I'll upload it on YouTube because I'm really interested to see this game's implications on the entire economy of rare Pokemon. I mean, you don't want to miss rare Pokemon, do you? No, of course you don't. So you should subscribe. It makes sense. So it wouldn't be out of the park to assume that some elements of this second trailer will appear in the new Legends ZA trailer. And if the new trailer opens like this one for Legends Arceus, I'd be really hyped. Okay, this trailer opens with a reveal of a new Pokemon, Weirdeer. On top of that, it reveals Hisuian Growlithe, Hisuian Braviary, and Basculegion. That's two new Pokemon, two new regional forms. We could see something similar in the next trailer. You know, we could finally see new Kalos Pokemon, new regional forms, and new evolutions of old Pokemon. If they can make a Pokemon that is as cool as Ursa Luna, I'll be really excited. Of course, I've already made another video about which specific Pokemon are returning. There's a few Pokemon in that video which I suppose could be candidates for new evolutions. This trailer also shows off the first mention of the Alpha Pokemon. In Legends Arceus, Alpha Pokemon are enraged Pokemon that are much larger and much stronger. Legends ZA is likely going to have a similar mechanic. It's probably not going to be the same, but we can expect the next trailer to show this off. Perhaps instead of showing off these Alpha Pokemon, it'll go more in depth into the new Mega Evolution mechanics. Of course, held items weren't in Pokemon Legends Arceus, so it would be intriguing to see how they've you know developed the concept of Mega Evolution for this game. For some of my favorite aspects of gameplay shown in this trailer. I really love how Pokemon Legends Arceus handled surveys and how it handled the Pokedex in general. Oh, of course, and the crafting and buying mechanics. I really love those. These are all introduced in this trailer as well. So all the, I suppose, the building blocks of the gameplay could be introduced in the next trailer for Legends ZA. And also the age-old question, is it set in the past or is it set in the future? I don't know. 
But uh, hope maybe maybe we'll find out next month. I'd really like to see the surveys return and the and the Pokedex system from Legends Arceus. They were really really fun to play with. This trailer then goes more in depth discussing new characters like Professor Laventon, uh, members of the Galaxy Core, and it discusses the Hisui region and. Um, shows a lot more of the different areas you get to explore in the game. This is the perfect opportunity for Pokemon to show us the entire grand scale of Lumio City. Of course, the game is, is apparently set entirely within Lumio City, so I, I'm really interested. A lot of people are really interested to see how they play that off. Of course, it's not the biggest in Pokemon X and Y, but being on the Switch, it's going to be much, much bigger. And I, I, I cannot wait to see what it looks like. So on top of new Pokemon, new gameplay mechanics, new story, it also gives us the official release date for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which was, of course, the 28th of January 2022. Since we already have the vague release date, it releases sometime in 2025, this would imply that this trailer will give us the official specific release date. And if that's not something to be hyped for, I, I I don't know what is. So so hypothetically, if next month's trailer is a bit underwhelming, perhaps doesn't show any new Pokemon, just shows off a bit of gameplay, a bit of story, there is always the possibility that a new trailer will be shown one month after that with you know new Pokemon, the the real meat of the announcements, the real stuff you want to hear. So you know, I really wouldn't lose hope too quickly if I were you. As I said earlier, the final stages for the starter Pokemon. In Legends Arceus, these were actually only teased a few days before the game's release. These, of course, being Hisuian Typhlosion, Hisuian Decidueye, and Hisuian Samurott. Now, I, I do want to say that at that time, it was completely unprecedented that, that starter Pokemon would get a regional form. Whether they get a regional form in Legend ZA or whether they get a Mega Evolution or something else entirely, I could imagine that we will see it a lot earlier than a few days before the game releases. Do I think we'll see it next month? No. Do I think we'll see it the month after that? No, I also don't. It'll take a while. But I don't think it'll take as long as it did last time. Okay, so to recap, the most likely outcome is that the next trailer will not tease too much. We'll see a bit of gameplay, perhaps a bit more of the story will be explained, and maybe we will get to see the starter Pokemon. There could be another trailer releasing a month later. This could go more in depth into the gameplay and story. It could potentially show us new Pokemon as well, but it's very unlikely that we will get to see the final stages for these starter Pokemon. Since you've made it to the end of the video, here's a bingo board I made trying to predict what's going to happen for, for next month's Pokemon Presents livestream. If you want to see me fill this out live on YouTube right in this channel, you can subscribe right now, click the bell, and you'll be able to watch it. Please subscribe, otherwise I'll, I'll, I'll cry. I'll cry, that's what I'll do.